A prayer for quiet contemplation this Holy Saturday. Written and read by Kyle Norman. One of the churches where I served had an eternal flame suspended above the altar. An eternal flame is a waxen candle that symbolizes the ever-presence of God. Throughout the week, as the candle burns down, the flame is then passed to another candle, which is then suspended above the altar. It is to be a visual representation of the light of Jesus that forever shines upon us. The flame never goes out. It flickers 24 hours a day, seven days a week. At this church, whenever we celebrated the yearly remembrance of Christ's death, the eternal flame would be marched out of the sanctuary. What I found fascinating was that the flame appeared to be gone, the church lied in darkness. But off in another room, amongst the robes and the books, the candle still flickered. Even though we couldn't see the flame, it still burned. Christ was still present. There's something profound about the stillness of Holy Saturday. Traditionally, Holy Saturday is the day where the church affirms that Jesus descends to the dead. Jesus enters the place of the dead, releasing the captives from prison and disarming the devilish powers. And yet, as much as we might recognize this day of victory, Holy Saturday is also a day of stillness. Jesus lies motionless in the grave. And this stillness of Holy Saturday is a deep expression of Sabbath. Just as God rested from the activity of creation on that first seventh day, so now Jesus rests from the activity of recreation on this seventh day. Holy Saturday binds Good Friday and Easter Sunday together. It's a time where we hold two realities before us, We contemplate Christ's death for our sin, a death that was rightfully ours. But we also look to the resurrection, and in that light we recognize that we can stop all our spiritual strivings. The Saturday between Good Friday and Easter Sunday calls us to rest in Christ's presence, because the work of sacrifice and offering is complete. And the glory of the resurrection is about to dawn. So on this holy Saturday, we breathe in all that God has wrought for us. Resting with Jesus on holy Saturday recalibrates our spiritual lives. And let's be honest, we all need this recalibration from time to time. Scripture often talks about how we are called to wait upon the Lord, to be still in the presence of God. Scripture never says, hurry up and know that I am God. The Bible doesn't say, those who are busy for the Lord will renew their strength. And yet, in this fast-paced world of ours, it can be easy to fall into this trap, to believe that Jesus responds to the plethora of our actions and the manyness of our words. And so, Holy Saturday calls us to stop, to recognize that the work has been done, Sin has been atoned for. We are free, and so we rest. This place of quiet reflection and contemplation calls us to recognize that our redemption isn't found in the satisfaction of wants and wishes or in the mastery of our time-bound selves. It's found in resting in Christ's work. And so we reach out for Christ's presence Before we reach out for a particular answer or action, we dare to believe that Christ's stillness does not mean his absence. As we rest, we look forward to the coming resurrection, confident in its arrival. Let us pray. Precious Jesus, I place myself before you in quiet and peace on this holy Saturday. As I reflect upon your death upon the cross, I thank you for your saving work. I thank you that you had me in mind 
as the nails struck your hands and feet and spear pierced your side. I thank you for your saving activity on the cross and for setting me free from all the sin that threatens my life with you. Lord, as you rested from your work on this holy day, I pray that you lead me into a time of rest and peace. Help me to still the call of activity in my soul, the frenetic busyness that can easily take over my life. Help me to recognize the stillness of your presence, a stillness that beckons me to follow you to quiet places for rest and refreshment. In the quiet places of my day, may you draw my attention to your presence. Push against all that distracts me and overwhelms me. As my body breathes deeply the air around me, may my soul breathe deeply your spirit of life and peace. Lord, as you rested this holy Saturday, awaiting your triumphant resurrection, help me to anticipate the coming of the third day where you call me to new life. Give me eyes to see where you call me forward in faith, and prepare me, O Lord, to receive your victory anew, and to welcome your resurrection in celebration and wonder. All of this I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Thank you.